Hello and welcome to Teal House Farm. Today, we're talking about hay storage. This is just a cattle panel coop that I'm going to repurpose for now and use it for a little bit of hay storage. I have 38 bales of hay, so let's see how many bales we can get in here and then I'll talk about the build. Okay, we fit 38 bales in here. Hopefully the sun's not in your eyes too badly. You can definitely fit 40, I would say. I'm not sure if you could go too much over 40, but that's about where it stands. All right, the rest of this video is going to be me talking about making this storage, hay storage, coop kind of thing. If you want to skip all that I've got a few tips for you if you want to skip all that you can go into the comments and I will link a PDF from a university that put one of these together as a chicken coop they've got it laid out very nicely uh, but you can go down there and look in the description and uh, build one yourself if you'd like a coop or a storage thing like this can be super easy and cheap to build a lot of people will have all of these materials on hand at their farm or homestead and it, it won't even cost them a penny to build. Your purchase list for this is really small. You need two cattle panels. They're 50 inches tall by 16 feet long. They can be kind of hard to get home, but a lot of people have those on their farm or homestead already. Then you need four 10 foot two by fours and two eight foot two by fours. And then a packet of like 100 zip ties and one tarp, a 12 by 16 tarp. Okay, there's a few other small things you need for the build as well. You need a few wheels, a couple of bolts. Make sure and get these brackets for the corners. You'll also need some staples to put your cattle panels into the wood. I made mine into a coop so I had extra material for a door. On the PDF that I've linked down below, they just use a regular door that they, they put up here. I actually framed one out. And then uh, the longest part of this build is putting chicken wire over everything. If you're just building one for storage and you don't need chicken wire on it at all, you might use it for hay storage or I built a shelter for my goats so they don't need chicken wire on it. Uh, you can build one in under two hours all by yourself. If you're putting one together uh, with the chicken wire and the door, it's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit longer to build. Um, my dad and I had never built one and we built two coops in one day together. And it's not like it took us 12 hours to build. I'd say we put uh, eight hours into it and that was with a, a good uh, lunch break too. And that's putting all your tools out there and cleaning all your tools up. So maybe six hours, three hours on each one to build. All right, so that's not a super long purchase list. It's pretty easy and you'll have a lot of these things on your farm already. Okay, tips. You can use clips to clip your cattle panels together or just use zip ties. I just use zip ties. And let me uh, give you a tip. Don't put your zip tie together like this with the pointy end sticking out. I have to redo this. You want your zip tie or your clip with the pointy end sticking in. I know you're probably thinking, Sam, that's just common sense. If the pointy end sticking out, it's gonna rip up your tarp and you're gonna have to replace them like every year, which is true. But I wasn't thinking about that when I put it together. Also, when you're putting these together, you cannot skip on these uh, braces for the corners. You don't have to use this one. You can use any kind of corner brace. I tried to build one without a corner brace and it broke within, I don't know, the first week of me using it. On the PDF in the link below, they just use a, they make it a square, which is, which is fine. But I made the uh, sides of my coop a little bit longer. 
just so I could put, have enough room to put wheels on it. And then enough room, uh, I looped a rope, I just drilled a hole, looped a rope through, and then put some hose on my rope so that I could pull the coop. You can see I have some helpers here today. If you're gonna use this as a chicken coop, you'll also need to put in a, a roosting spot and a few nesting boxes. I have built three or four portable shed kind of things and portable chicken coops, and we live in a really hilly spot, and all of them were very hard to move on hills. This is by far the easiest coop that I've built uh, that you can move on hills. I mean, it's, it's so easy to move. My wife, Laura, was pregnant and was still helping to move the chickens uh, with these things, so it's really easy to lift. But you might say, Sam, you're putting a tarp on it and it's really light and easy to lift. Won't it just blow away like a kite? And the truth is, in uh, like a tornado type storm and settings, it can blow away if you have it turned into the wind. This past spring, we had a couple of really bad tornadoes around us with the wind getting close to 50 and 60 miles an hour. And I had some broiler chicks in here and some laying chicks in these type of coops. And we didn't lose one chicken. If you have these turned against the wind, you're fine. They won't blow away at all. Anyway, these are some of my favorite structures that I've built on the homestead so far. Very, very portable and really multi-use. You can use them for storage. You can use them for uh, a goat shelter, animal shelter. I've used them for chickens and they're great. If you have any questions, ask them below in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them. Also check out that PDF and do a little browsing on Google. You can just search uh, cattle panel coop or cattle panel storage, cattle panel movable coop. When I build things, I like to look at four or five different builds and kind of gather and glean ideas from different people because you might like the way someone put in a nesting box or a, or a perch or something like that, a roost, better than the way the, the PDF document does. So do a little bit of research and then have a good time building your storage slash coop slash mobile housing unit. All right, I think that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.